Hello beautiful people, Wayne Hackman here, aka Wagstar. Now behind me is a rather interesting place. They have bloodhounds in this little compound behind me and they've been trained specifically to hunt poachers down. But I'm going to go and hide and we're gonna see if they can find me and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve to see if I can throw them off the scent. I suspect I will fail dismally, but nonetheless, I'm ready for the challenge. Nestled in Lycipia County, Kenya, is this wonderfully privately owned conservancy called Mugi. And in the conservancy are these wonderful creatures, trained bloodhounds, specifically trained to pick up the scents of human. And today I was going to be that human. They were trained to pick up scents of those who were perhaps poaching or actually in more recent history, missing persons and police investigations and I had the opportunity to be their track for the day. So me and Daniel are going to go hide, okay, from the bloodhounds. Yeah. I'm fairly certain they're not going to find us. Yeah. Okay, uh, so we're gonna, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve well, we saw them. It, just to see if we can um, evade their scent, yeah, okay? Sure. Okay, we're putting our scent down here. Yeah, yeah. Putting our scent down. What I'm going to do is also... Where's my sock? I'm going to... We're going to go hide in the forest now. And so then we're going to hide the socks and then double back on ourselves and see if they can find us. So let's go do that. I've hidden the first one here. So we're going to double back now. Let's go double back. Where are we going to double back to? Okay. I'm just going to go over here, right? All right. See if we can put... Gonna, gonna put another marker down here. See if they find that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We're gonna head over to this olive tree over here. Oh, look. Look, there goes a guinea fowl. So we've climbed up an olive tree. Um, have you ever tried to hide from them in a tree before? First time, so we're quite high off the ground. So, I don't know if you can see that. We're quite high off the ground. Oh, actually, maybe three meters off the ground. Yeah. So we're just going to hide up here and see if they can come and find us. So would Daniel have brought Wayne here to put his footprint in there? Yeah. They're over there trying to get our scent at the moment. Are they going to find us? Daniel's pretty confident. I think I, I've. I think I've uh, hidden enough scent markers in the hope that uh, in the hope that they might not find us. We'll see. Although it looks quite aggressive, what they do is they take this sterile strip and glove, they rub it around where they want to get the scent, and then after a moment of the dog sniffing it, the dog is ready to run off and find me and Daniel. <laughs> See, that was smart. We were only about half a kilometre away, but watching the dog run around the bush for a little bit made me think that maybe I have actually indeed fooled this creature. But as you can see, after a few moments of sniffing around and jumping up at the tree, he catches the scent once again, and they were off on the hunt. And we're on the trail again. Okay, we think they found the first sock. They're moving now. I don't know if you can see them through the tree. The 
second marker wasn't quite so effective in putting the dog off the trail. As you can see, finds the sock and then very quickly carries on. Okay, they found the second sock. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of in that little bush area over there. Okay. That's impressive. That's all. Oh, they're over there now. Look, they're there. a couple of times. Hello! <laughs> yeah, you got my socks. <laughs> I'm glad. I thought I'd lost those socks. Did you? Did, did my socks throw off the scent? It's like, yeah, yeah it confused the dog because you know, the dog protects the tree. Yeah. I tried to jump on top of the tree. Yeah. He come down, jump like three times. Yeah. Hitting the tree. Yeah, I confused the dog a bit and then start. So, time to get down and congratulate the dog. We tried, Daniel, didn't we? Yeah, we tried, actually. But it, yeah, it came straight for us. How cool is that? It didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> So we tried, the decoy didn't work, but nonetheless, the bloodhounds found us. So if you're ever in Mugi, go see these guys because they will always find you. Thanks for watching.